Hi everyone with the spirit of learning Welcome back to my video in YouTube My name is Langa And today we're gonna uh, export the new updated from the Adobe XD this August So basically since Adobe XD is free for you And they are giving a lot of update for their own product Because they want to make it better and better Who's using Adobe XD? Please write in the video comment And I will give you the best template for the Adobe XD for the UI and UX okay so right now let's explore one by one so number one is uh, to reordering the design asset in the Adobe XD so basically if you are creating the design style guide in the Adobe XD you are uh, choosing the color and then typograph and then what, what was that uh, picture icon and a lot of things such as the component right so that's why the Adobe XD previously uh, didn't working on the reorder for the asset but right now it's working properly so you can uh, reorder the color perfectly and you can also rename the color uh, yeah, because each company has their own name of the color. Maybe for the yellow, they are using yellow sun, or the blue, they are using blue funky, or the black, they are using black panda, black panda. <laughs> yeah, so that's the new update from the Adobe XD that's really, really helpful to documentation, to, sorry, to document your design perfectly. Okay, second is to uh, to generate the asset that you have been work on. I mean that uh, Previously you are designing the mobile application and you want to give that design to the developer Because developer will work on the development for that design All right, so that's why sometimes developer needs the design needs the asset such as icon such as color images or even button that they are not able to make manually in the Android or Xcode so we have to export the design assets perfectly with the Adobe XD so in the Adobe XD right now is able to uh, to mark or checklist the, the layers that you want to e export and give the developer access to download those assets okay so those updates was very nice because I think so far Adobe XD is trying to make their own product better and better and I'm starting to use the Adobe XD to my tool of design. So first is Adobe XD, second Sketch and third sometimes I use Figma. Okay. So for the last one update from the Adobe XD is the private share. Means that if you want to share your own document of the design, you might you might want to make it private, right? And just give this link to anybody that has a password for this document. Otherwise, everyone can access your design. Everyone can download your design. Even they can steal your design. So that's why Adobe XD is providing the password of the sharing private. So you can easily and feel secure for your design. Wow, so nice. Okay guys, so I think that's all from this update. And please let me know if I was missing something on this video. So right now, please write in the video comment if you are using Adobe XD. And why do you use Adobe XD? And uh, what application uh, that you use except Adobe XD? Because uh, we want to know its other and we want to share the experiments, sorry, the experience of the behind the Adobe XD. Okay, so let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. Nice to meet you from Indonesia. Bye.